Good evening. I would like to welcome you all to this service, uh, healing service, this Tuesday evening, uh, where we pray especially for those who are sick and include an anointing. We use the form of uh, prayer called Ministration to the Sick in the Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 453. So I invite you to follow along with us. Peace be to this place and to all who dwell in it. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve your sick servants, and give your power of healing to those who minister to their needs, that those for whom our prayers are offered may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading this evening is from 1 Chronicles, chapter 16, verses 11 and 34 through 35. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. Save us, O God of our salvation, from, and gather and rescue us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. The word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. The psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 5, verses 7 through 8 and verse 11. You can find Psalm 5 on page 589 in the Book of Common Prayer. Let's read together in unison. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them so that those who love your name may exult in you. And now a reading from Mark. The word of the Lord. Jesus asked the father, how long has this been happening to him? And he said, from childhood, it has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you are able to do anything, have pity on us and help us. Jesus said to him, if you are able, all things can be done for the one who believes. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lord Jesus Christ, so quiet the noise of our lives that we can hear your voice in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> I love that phrase um, and the way Rob read it. If you are able to do anything, isn't that the best thing that we could say to Jesus? If you are able to do anything, right? In one way, it sounds laughable, like we know all the power that Jesus has. But in another way, what I love about this father is how honest and vulnerable he is before the Lord. Even, even, Jesus even responds as if there's some level of incredulousness, right? Like, if you can do anything, of course I can do something, right? But he gives them this hope. I love the hope that is given to this father on this night. All things can be done for the one who believes. As I reflected on these words, I realized in the midst of uh, ministry, 
Um, you see a lot of very difficult things occur in the lives of people. I mean, there are some really tough things that go on. I think of the families where I've seen divorce and all the things that led to that, to the sudden loss of family members through death or health crises. So often it seems person after person we hear about, it's cancer. So often I've wanted to be able to pray and lay hands like we do in this service and, and God miraculously cure them of whatever it is that ails them. And many times I've seen just that. I've seen not from the touch that I gave, but in time, the way God works through faith, people be healed, and the way God works through medicine, and the way all those things come together, I've seen lives completely healed. But in the midst of that, I've really come to understand that the spiritual healing that occurs most often in lives is every bit as important as or the physical healing is every bit as important as the spiritual, the mental, or the emotional healing in people. The way God carries them from a life of panic, when you don't know exactly what's going on, but you know it's bad until that doctor diagnosis, to a place of peace. From fear to tranquility, from brokenness, to wholeness. It's not an easy process, and I don't think it was any easy process for this father and his son this day, but there have been a lot of prayers that sound like that father. If you're able to do anything, Jesus, please heal. You're my real hope, right? Physical healing is incredibly powerful. But seeing a peace that passes all understanding is one of the most incredible healings I've ever seen in the lives of people, people who believe. And I pray in the midst of whatever is going on in your life or in that of your loved one, in their pain and struggles, that they will turn to the one who can do anything and will heal them, heal them not only physically, but also spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. Amen. Our worship continues this evening with a confession. And so if you will turn in your prayer books to 454. And as we come into this service of healing, may we be healed of that which separates us from God and one another. And let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Now we will continue with the laying on of hands and Rob is going to adjust the camera and then he's going to kneel down and Lucy and I are going to uh, take turns um, praying for uh, the folks that you have sent to us, those names, and then uh, we'll offer time at the end for any names that you would like to or in the midst of this, we encourage you to pray for those uh, that may not be mentioned this night. So let us gather in prayer.
Robin, I'll wear our mask this evening just so that we make sure that we are safe. Lord Jesus Christ, Rabbi, I anoint you with this holy oil in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And as you are outly anointed with this holy oil, we pray that you and all that we lift up this night will be anointed with God's life-giving and healing spirit. Lord, we come before you and we lift up Clark. We just pray for continued strength as he recovers from chemo treatments and recovery from last week's surgery. We lift up Noreen and ask that you heal her in spirit and body and strength while she is supporting Clark. We pray for John, his continued health and deliverance from that which ails him this day. For Dave, thanksgiving for his recent release from the hospital and his continued healing and sustained good health. For Jess and Joyce, Jess who continues to struggle with the effects of chemotherapy. And Lord, we just pray that you heal the tumors and keep them from growing larger and strengthen him in his fight against the uh, high blood pressure and healing for Joyce, who's wife, his wife who shares this journey. We pray you continue to feel her, fill her with courage, inner strength, and faith. For John and Betty, for John as he continues to strengthen in his health and Betty, healing of her lungs and all the difficulty she's having with breathing, and Lord, lead her through some uh, significant dental work she's going to have done as that is always difficult and frightening. We fear those drills and that pain, Lord, deliver her from pain. And we lift up Charles this night for his lung issues and enlarged lymph nodes around his lung and the sebaceous carcinoma around his temple. We pray, Lord, that you would strengthen those lungs and that you would heal him of every cell of carcinoma in his body. And we lift up Kay. Again, as she cares for Charles, but also just pray you strengthen her in body. Give her strength in mind and spirit as she supports and encourages Charles. And Lord, we give you thanks for Amanda and her healing, but also continued healing so that she can continue to have the surgeries that she needs to fully recover from her fight in cancer. And all these names we pray and lift up to you in Christ's name. Amen. As we continue our prayers for healing, we remember Cindy. She may maintain her faith inner strength and courage in this current time. We pray for Sherry and her. We pray for Sherry as she, uh, as she experiences cancer and we pray for her healing and strength. We also pray for her family, John, Molly, and Liza that they may know God's presence and remain strong in their faith. For Rosie, also fighting cancer, give her strength and healing. And for Chris, that he might also experience that strength and presence of God each day as he supports Rosie. Pray for Keith and his recovery from surgery. Give him strength and healing at this time. Pray for Elaine also with cancer for her healing. May she know your healing presence and your strength. For Roberta and for those who love her. 
Dollar Bill and his recent uh, diagnosis or suggestion of cancer for his healing. And we pray for Paige and her healing and for James and all those who love him for healing and for answers. We ask all these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hang on, Bob. I'm going to do a couple more. Lord, we also, as we lay hands on Rob, ask that your healing hand be upon Kate, my niece, in the midst of her cancer. Bridget, for those tumors to reduce so that she can have surgery for Barbara in her pelvis. Lord, we lift up to you Catherine as she gets ready to have surgery on her neck and to stabilize two major vertebrae there so that she may be relieved of pain. And Lord, we ask that you cure this world of COVID and heal us all in the midst of the battles and the difficulties and the struggles that we are dealing with each and every day in terms of um, opposing political views and the hate that exists there. Heal us and racism, and we ask that you heal that. And Lord, we pray through your power that you would bring us together to be one people, for you made of all the peoples of the earth one blood, and may we remember that we are all your children. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. As we continue and gather up all of these prayers, we pray in the words our Savior Jesus Christ has taught us in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Our concluding collect is found on page 456. The almighty Lord who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven, on earth and under earth bow and obey, be now and evermore your defense, and make you know and feel that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And this day, may God bless you with discomfort at easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships so that you will seek the way and truly love your neighbor as yourself. May God bless you with anger at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people. That you will work for justice, equity, and peace. May God bless you with tears for those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation, and war. So that you will reach out your hand to comfort them and change their pain to joy. And may God bless you with the foolishness to think that you can make a difference in the world so that you will do the things that others tell you cannot be done. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you this night and remain with you always. Amen.
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.